This month at the Bristol Museum, there's an exhibition by the British artist Banksy, which is causing something of a stir. The reason for this is that nobody thought Banksy would have an exhibition like this. So for this week's podcast on English.com, we're talking about Banksy and what makes him so special. So Richard, why does the exhibition seem so unusual? Well, Banksy isn't someone who creates pieces of art for people to buy and sell. He's a street artist. He's a graffiti artist. So his work can be seen on the sides of buildings, alongside rivers, on walls, mainly yes. in city centres. And he's become something of an of an urban legend, hasn't he? Um, his work isn't the traditional graffiti, you know, sprayed on walls. They're images which often have a subversive message. They're kind of... They make you stop and, and look again. I think they're quite clever. Yes. Um, yeah, graffiti artists just usually write their names, but he actually does paint pictures and they're often very funny um, now of course painting on public walls is illegal and so Banksy has done two things to avoid getting caught um, for the first thing he's remained anonymous, no one really knows who he is Yeah, Banksy's uh, just a pseudonym isn't it? pseudonym yes we don't know what his real name is or who he is um, and also secondly he doesn't just paint on walls he has this technique using stencils. So that means he can do the pictures very quickly, prepare the images in advance, and then he just quickly sprays through the stencils onto the wall. So um, it's a different technique, and it is real art, I think. There's a lot of his work on the streets in Bristol uh, and in London too. Yes, in fact, one of his early works that made him quite famous is uh, on the wall of a main street in Bristol, It shows a naked man hanging from outside a window while another man is looking for him. The council in Bristol asked residents if they wanted it to stay or if, if people didn't like it, they would get rid of it. But apparently nearly everyone said they wanted it to stay. You, if you go to Bristol, you can still see it. Great. And, and he's also done some huge paintings in the United States. Um, a popular Banksy symbol is the rat, And he's got some gigantic rat images uh, on walls in New York. Mm, lots of rats. But uh, monkeys are popular with him too. Yes, and a lot of his work is political. But it's, it's anti-establishment, anti-war, anti-capitalist uh, and things like that. So um, it wasn't a big surprise. He went to the West Bank where the Israelis are building the enormous barrier to separate Israel from Palestine. Yes, and, and, and that huge wall, I mean, it's just a, it's just a blank canvas for, for artists like Banksy. And, of course, the images are therefore quite political. I like the one of the girl flying over the wall with a huge bunch of balloons. Um, there's another one of a girl frisking a soldier. Yes, that's my favourite. Rather, yeah, rather than the other way around. And, um, and there are also images of a beautiful view showing through the wall. Yes. But the question is, is it unlawful vandalism, like so much graffiti, or is it inspirational artwork? Mm. Well, one of the things, do you remember, Richard, one of the things I didn't like about Madrid was all the graffiti. Yes. So it does seem hypocritical to say I like Banksy's work, because he is, after all, a graffiti artist... I don't know, but I feel it's got more of a point somehow. And I enjoy the messages. Yes, that's the problem, isn't it? It's a point of view. I think it's art. Um, but what do the listeners think? Are people like Banksy artists and therefore maybe get lots of money for their uh, works? Or are they vandals? Or maybe even both? So we'd love to hear from you. That's it for this week's podcast in English. <laughs>